Hey Pell Punkers, it's me again, back with another video. And this is actually like basically a collection video of like every single CDs that I've got, you know, in my collection of CDs. Yeah, so the thing is back then I didn't really collect CDs when I was, you know, a kid. You know, I only had like a few things that are C D related. You know, as a you know preteen, and then uh, you know as a teenager, eventually as an as an, an adult, I start getting more CDs nowadays, and whatever. But yeah, I have like a good amount of CDs in my collection that I've got from you know different you know stores, whether it's in person or online. Yeah, I figured why not do a video showing my my whole collection so far. Because it's been a while since I even I realized. Actually, I never really showed my CD collection. I just showed me unboxing some CDs, but I never actually showed my whole collection of CDs. That's a different right difference right there. So yeah, I'm gonna probably start off with some band related ones that I have, like rock band ones. So I'm gonna sort out, you know, the different kinds of CDs. to show you from different genres and everything and different artists some rap ones some you know pop songs you know pop singers songs or whatever yeah so let me show you my collection from you know bands first okay so here we got Skillet Awake the most popular Skillet album you know in existence for you know many reasons yeah of course you know the songs that's in this album hero and monster of course are my favorite ones from this album i do like the other ones though they're all good yeah it's like m m my favorite band ever but i also like other bands too but yeah, if you're not really familiar with them, it's a Christian rock band, but they, you know, don't act, you know, like a Christian rock band though, which is pretty cool. And then this is also another CD that I got. This is actually my first CD that I got of Skillet, you know, Comatose. Yeah, of course, you know, here's the songs right here. Comatose is the, you know, most you know, popular one of the track though. Whispers in the Dark is also, you know, a good one yeah all these are pretty good I've heard them before and then also have three days grace 1x CD yeah and of course you know the most popular song from this album is animal I have become that's the most popular one but also riots is also a good popular one yeah, they're all pretty good, though. Yep. Also, you know, I got some Fall Out Boy, which, you know, everyone knows about Fall Out Boy, though. Yeah, American Beauty slash American Psycho. Yeah. Irresistible, of course, I heard a lot. Centuries, and you know Uma Thurman, I heard many times, Immortals Aussie, because that song was in Big Hero Six, and yeah, that's pretty much mostly it. Like the songs that you know I'm most familiar with. Me, I heard the whole album before, but obviously it's been a long time since I heard it though. And then this also this Fall Boy album, Save Rock and Roll, pretty cool. Yeah. My songs know what you did in the dark. I am up. Yeah, the most popular song of this album right here. Yeah, I'm pretty much. Yeah, I, I don't really remember these other songs like that. I just remember, you know, my what my songs know what you did in the dark. That's the most popular song from this track, and whatever. I need to listen to this again. But damn, Courtney Love actually was featured. And Elton John. Damn, I forgot about those. 
been a long, long time. Mm, big Sean. Awesome. Also, like our most recent album that I got from like, you know, this band related is Joan Jett and the Black Hearts Greatest Hits. Yeah, and here's all like the songs. The most popular song is I Love Rock and Roll. A pretty great song, obviously. Everyone knows about that song. I heard all the other songs too recently, but it's pretty good. I had to get it because you're mostly for that song, but yeah, this is an old iconic band though. Okay, so let's, you know, let's see. I'm guessing let's now go to... Well, actually, I forgot one band. Or, uh, let me see. Or well, actually, no, I don't think, no, it's not considered a band. Let's, you know, think. Okay, I'm guessing go to, like, the albums based on, you know movie scores like soundtracks okay so godzilla the album 1998 godzilla movie album soundtrack yeah i've heard this while back come with me is the most popular song with puff daddy fortunately with the stuff with him you know as puff did uh, p diddy or diddy oh my god yeah, he's gone through a lot of stuff in recent years, in the recent times. I didn't realize that Green Day made a song for this movie, though. But yeah, all these other songs, yeah, I heard before, you know, in this movie, but he's been a long while. The only song that I remember by heart is Come With Me. And then, you know, got Suicide Squad. The album. I also had to get this because I love the movie. I also have the movie too. Both movies. Of course, everyone knows about this song. Um, Purple Lamborghini, I'm pretty sure. Suck for Pain. Heathens. Yeah, a lot of people should know about Gangsta by now. You Don't Own Me. That's a popular song that's been, you know, covered by many different people. Without Me by Eminem, obviously. Yeah, a lot of people can remember a lot of some of these songs. Some of these songs, you know, obviously I've, you know, heard from the movie, but obviously I'm not, like, you know, thinking they're super iconic to the point where obviously I'll think about Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad right away, you know? But yeah, of course, the most popular songs are what I look for mostly in the albums, though. But I do like the other songs, though. Yeah, and here's from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I like how this one has like the holographic look to it, the eyes, and yeah, and of course, yeah, the album, What's Up Danger, of course, I heard many times, Sunflower, Way Up, I've heard, mostly all of these I heard because I listened to this album a couple times though, but still, and plus I watched the movie a billion times now, Familia, some of these artists I'm not really familiar with, or some of them I'm just... I'm like I heard the songs, but I'm and from this album, but I'm not really a big fan of compared to the main songs that we know about. But yeah, of course, Hyde is a good one, Juice World, and you know, Scare of the Dark is a good one too. Yeah, all of these are good though, but I'll see, you know, the most popular ones are what I look for. But yeah, of course, you know, everyone knows about Sunflower. That's the most popular one though. Okay, so I'm guess I'm gonna go with now for these next songs that I'm gonna be albums that I'm gonna be showing are you know singers. So yeah, this is the Cry Baby album by Melly Martinez. Yep. I remember this is actually the first uh, CD album that I've bought online, ever. I just never showed it before on unboxing or whatever. But yeah, she's like one of my favorite singers though. Everyone knows about this, you know, most of these songs. Cry Baby, Dollhouse, Sippy Cup, Carousel, Alphabet Boy, Soap, Training Wheels, Pity Party, Tag Your It, Hook and Cookies, Pacify Her, 
it's Potato Head, Mad Hatter. Everyone mostly knows about these songs and whatever if, if you are familiar with her. And if you're a fan of her too, also you're going to know all these. Then yeah, the next one I have is also Melanie Martinez, K212. Of course, it's got the, you know, movie, so, you know, basically two in here. Let me see if I can, you know. Yeah, this is, you know, the album itself, uh, the disc right here. But let me see. Oops, yeah. This is, uh, you know, actually, you know, this is the album itself right here. The other disc was the movie. Yeah, pretty cool. Most of everyone, you know, most likely would have heard of these songs too. Yeah, some of them I do like a lot. Some of them I, you know, don't like, like as much. They're not feeling as catchy. Yeah, because some songs, even if it's like a favorite artist of mine, some of them I don't like as much compared to the other songs. Uh, you know, but I do like them. I'm just you now not fully into them like that. But yeah, here's like another singer that I do like. You know, that has gotten popular around the same time as Melanie. Halsey. Yeah, the Manic CD album. But yeah. A lot of these songs, you know, I'm most familiar with. Of course, Coming Time. Should be sad. Sugar's. Um, interlude, Atlantis interlude. Yeah, without me, obviously everyone knows about that song Graveyard. I hate everybody. Yeah, me. I heard most of these songs, or all of these songs, and stuff. But I'll see some of them I view as you know the best songs in the album. Some of them I don't like as much. I mean, I like them, but I'm not, you know, so big on them. I would not, yeah, you know, listen to them on repeat. And yeah, also I got this album, Katy Perry, Teenage Dreams. Yeah, I did show this before in the video. Yeah, of course, you know, I like this one, this one, this one the most. Firework. I did listen to other ones too, like Peacock, very good. E.T., also very good. This is not, this is not the one with Kanye West, though. It's just regular E.T. But yeah, all the other ones are pretty good. I might also get, you know, the complete confection one, which has, you know, extra stuff. And, you know, definitely get the one that's, you know, more made for mature audiences and not, you know, the cleaner version, which I already have the cleaner version. There's also the, you know, dirty version of that CD, uh, the, orig the original, uh, you know, album still. But, you know, I don't know if I want to get, get the, you know, one that's more mature, though. At the moment, and well, might as well just get the complete confection because that's basically the same thing, but just more enhanced. Okay, so I'm just gonna you know show you like you know this CD. This is Pat Benatar. Yeah, like Heartbreaker is like one of the most popular songs in this album. And hit me with your best shot. That's the live version of it, but yeah, it's the most iconic one of the album too some of these these i actually heard but i don't uh didn't really knew who they were i didn't really know who pat benatar was until like pretty much the cd this this basically i be used to i believe it used to belong to one uh, most likely my aunt and whatever but since you know she she doesn't you know use anymore and whatever and she just you know had it with you know my cousin's stuff or whatever I decided to claim it since my cousin gave me random CDs. This is one of them. So, you know, might as well. Because I do like rock music. I do like old school music. So, I might as well keep it. It doesn't have the case, unfortunately, though. And I had to show these at the same time. This is These are Kids Bop CDs. This is from McDonald's as a kid's meal. No, Happy Meal. This is actually a... Burger King kids meal that I got myself, but this actually used to belong to my cousin 
but uh, for, yeah, but nowadays she doesn't even remember it or you know she pretty much just left it behind and stuff so I pretty much claimed it I mean honestly I don't really listen to them really, really much anymore since obviously you know kind of no point and whatever this one only has like three songs in it yeah but this one has like you know at least five songs I mean what do you, you, do you expect it's you know kids meals a happy meal thing so it's gonna be you know cheap but you know it's it's good to at least hear them every now and once and then even though I'm, I'm not really a fan of kids bop because you now they're meant for you know younger audiences another thing also is that you know I didn't really grow up listening to them as a kid really so you know and also because they freaking you know changed the lyrics of the songs uh, majorly to make it super kid friendly too. That's another thing too. Obviously, why why I'm not really a fan of them, neither for that reason. A lot of people have also view it as cringy and stuff. So yeah, you know that's how it is. But you know, it's still part of the collection, anyways. Also, here's a CD that's interesting. I remember I got this when I was in New York back in 2015, around Times Square, and like one of those you know, I'm guessing Jehovah's Witnesses, or whatever. That usually, you know, gives stuff involving, you know, Christian related stuff or whatever to people and, you know, trying to promote, you know, religion and stuff, end up getting this CD for free and stuff. I actually, you know, didn't really listen to it when I first got it. And all the upcoming years, I didn't really listen to it. But I actually finally got to listen to it in, in 2022, 2023. 2022, I listened to the whole thing. 2023, I only just listened to half. But man, I can't believe I had this for a while. I didn't even bother listening to it, you know. But yeah, it's got a lot of Christmas music, Christian music and stuff, and, you know, but verses and whatever. But yeah, it's pretty good, though, you know. It's just a good, you know, souvenir thing, I guess, yeah. And it's also good to just have it in life. Obviously, I am a Christian, but I'm not, like, super crazy about the religion stuff, though. But I'll see, I do love Christmas music, though, and it does have Christmas music. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, go into, like, you know, rappers that have their CDs of currently. And this one is Post Malone. Yeah, I remember I got this CD along with the Suicide Squad CD and the Fall Out Boy CDs. Because now I wanted to build a collection, you know, because I'll see, I listen to this album many times, like, like me, some of the songs from the album many times and stuff. I do like Post Malone. He's a cool rapper and, you know, singer too. And whatever, there's like good songs in this one. But yeah, it doesn't show the songs here. But let me see the booklet that comes with it, if I can, you know. Take it out. Yeah, let's see. Got a bunch of pictures. Yeah. Damn. None of the songs are listed. Put it back now. Yeah, and Hollywood's Bleeding, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's the, the album, yep. But yeah, Hollywood's Bleeding also is one of the songs in the track. I do like that song. I also like the one song, uh, you know, Die For Me, which has Halsey and Future. I also like Take What You Want with, uh, you know, Ozzy Osbourne and, you know, Travis Scott. That's the most popular song in it, too. And whatever. Sunflowers Sunflower is also in it, believe it or not. And I know Circles is in it too. I don't really remember all the other songs though. It's, it doesn't help that that doesn't even list any of the songs that's involved, unfortunately. Okay, well you should already know the last albums that I'm going to show though in the video. So I'm going to show, basically, yeah, this CD amped. 2018 by Nova Rockefeller. I got both of these CDs. One that's, you know, autographed, one that's not autographed. This is the one that's without an autograph that I want for free. This is the one that's autographed that I paid for. But damn, 
I'm glad I got an autographed copy. But yeah, I listened to all these songs already. Yeah. It's like an EP, so obviously it doesn't have that much. Just has like eight songs. Obviously, I only listen to the CD that you know, doesn't have her autograph because I just want to keep this mostly as you know, collector's item, mostly. But yeah, it's a pretty good album, though. Pretty short album. Though I, I was not, you know, like hooked on the songs to the point where I am like with her, you know, recent album, though. Which, you know... Also, I'm going to show off, you know, these two side to side because they released the same year. As far as the stars, you know, Noah Rockefeller, Tom McDonald, and Brandon Hart. And then Scared of Heights. This is actually the first, uh, you know, album that I bought from her site and whatever. But yeah, songs right here. Yeah, Hey You's a good song. Sometimes it's definitely a great. Gang Gang, Into Deep, Bike Racks is good. Brave Ones. Did your best, definitely the best one. I don't mind is also good. Yeah, all these are, all these songs here are good. And then, you know, as far as the stars, the most main thing ever. Yeah, church is a good one. No good bastards. <laughs> yeah. Um, blessings is you know, I heard all these songs here, but Heart Emojis is a good one too. And yeah, all these other songs are pretty interesting. I heard them. But yeah, the most popular songs are, you know, this one, this one, and, you know, this one, since they have music videos. Yep. And now, let's see. And now, this album, my autograph, Tom McDonald, Us Against the World album. Yeah, I was glad to get his autograph CD. But yeah, listen to all these musics in the album. When I first got it, but I'll see the most popular ones are this one, this one, and yeah, this one's definitely popular. This one, and yeah, also yeah, this one's also you know popular one too. This one definitely is popular. I mean, all of them are good though, regardless of you know the most popular ones that have the music videos. Interesting. And now I also have both Brave 1 and 2. This one I was able to, you know, pick up from eBay for like a good amount, like around the same price that they would normally charge from their site, around 23 bucks from eBay. I'm always glad to get it for that much from second hand. And I got this for free recently, you already know. So I got the first one, the Brave 1, Calhoun X McDonald, and the Brave 2. Right there it just says, you know, Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. But yeah, of course the songs. They're in them. White Boys, I'll see. This one, Fire Emojis, most popular ones. New World Order, The God We Trust. Yeah. And, you know. White Boys 2 is just basically the same thing as the first one, just with Mad Child. And it's... But all these are pretty good. American Flags, yeah, you know, for this one is a popular one. Your America, Chrome, Nova. Yeah, and you know, pretty much, you know, White People with Dax, Housley. All these other songs, though, they don't, I mean, also Race Roar is also a popular song from the album. But everything else, though, has like good, you know, extra songs and features and everything that are unexpected, like Project Pat. And, you know, Social Repulse. Yeah, pretty good, though. Listen to, you know, all the tracks in this these albums. I will also get the other albums eventually and collect other albums from other artists that I like from different genres. Mostly from pop, rock, and rap. Those are my main genres. And, you know, probably also stuff outside the genre, too. For why, why not, though? But anyways, guys. That was my whole collection of CDs of different kinds that I have so far. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed, you know, looking at all those CDs uh, that I've showed you. And, you know, I definitely will collect more. 
I don't have like a super big collection like you know some family members I know have big collections but eventually I can eventually have a big collection though but anyways guys thank you all for watching this video and see you guys in the next video peace